Welcome to stage 7 of the 2017 Paris-Nice. Richie Port of BMC avenged his woes from the beginning of the Pyrenees with a spectacular stage win at the top of the highest ever finish in the race to the sun during the course of stage 7. The Australian who lost more than 15 minutes in the echelons rain and wind in the first two stages was no threat to the overall so Colombian Sergio Hinao made the best of the days first three category climbs to finish fourth on the stage and take the yellow jersey away from Julian Alaphilippe who lost touch early on the 15 km long final ascent. On the, l on the line 2013-2015 winner Richie Port won ahead of another revengeful champion that being Alberto Contador and Ireland's Dan Martin also completed the GC podium. Coach Ever. 154 riders left Nice for the mountains and that was without Stefan Kreisvak, Dan McKay and Joe Dombrowski who all called it quits with a second uh, category climb in the early stages at kilometer 10 five men broke clear looking for the king of the mountains points among them the two leaders of the mountain classification that being Axel de Mont and Lillian uh, Kamehane of Direct Energy along with Jan Polank of UAE uh, Omar Freile of Dimension Data Lillian and Delio Fernandez as about it was Kamehane who beat Damont at the top as the break was leading the bunch by 3 minutes 30 after that uh, uh, Kamahe made a concerted effort to go for the King of the Mountains points and distanced his breakaway co companions to push ahead for the uh, first category climbs coming later in the stage. During the course of the um, final climb uh, Jakob Fulslach of, of Astana tried to part company with a bunch near the beginning and chased down um, uh, Kamehane but it was not to be the case then um, with 14 kilometers to go Pacha and Ulisi found themselves in front um, along with there was uh, Sebastian Hanau of Sky setting tempo at the at the front of the bunch for his ca cousin Sergio. You had Jalison Pantano of Trek Sedica Freda raise the tempo in the bunch, and the pace became too too high for race leader Julian Alaphilippe, who started losing ground with 10 kilometers of climbing still to go for the line, as well as second placed Tony Gallopin. As Ulisi was chased down, Richie Port. Uh, Jonathan Pantano, Alberto Contador, uh, Ilno Zakarin, Ion Izaguirre, Dan Martin and Pierre Latour uh, found, they found themselves at the head of the race. Jonathan uh, Pantano twice raised the tempo in the climb and only Henao, Contador, Port, Martin, Ion Izaguirre, Fuchslang uh, we could were able to stay with him in the last five kilometers. Richie Port twice tested his companions before bearing a uh, decisive blow with three kilometers to go. The Australian steadily increased his lead to clinch, clinch his fifth stage victory in the race. Behind him, Alberto Contador parted ways with Henao to go for second place, while Dan Martin sprinted past in the last stretch to overtake the lamp Colombian take third place overall and thanks to the um, uh, thanks to the time bonus for picking up third place it means that Martin leapfrog Contador to now trail Henao by 30 seconds as opposed to Contador's 31 and looks ideally placed to give and Henao now looks ideally placed to give Team Sky their fifth Paris-Nice victory in six years Julian Alaphilippe salvaged 5th place, 
He's now a total of 1 minute 22 behind. That brings me to the end of my report on stage 7 of the 2017 Paranese. Be sure to like and share this video. Post any comments, questions, criticisms that you may have in the comment section down below. If you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button. And last but by no means least, remember, stay carved up for the win. I'll see you next time. Cheers.